Why is she thinking about a toilet? <laughs> is she not? What? We are on episode 36 now. Now, actually, wait, we're not on episode 36. What I've decided, because I was looking at what other people do, because I'm like, oh man, like we're on episode 35. Soon I'm going to be on episode 100 and it's just going to look weird. Like, what does everyone else do? And everyone else does seasons, which I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Every generation is a season. So we're actually on season two. I don't know what episode in season two, but I'm going to figure it out. And I'm actually going to go back and redo all my thumbnails with this new numbering. It's not going to make sense, I guess, if you watch some of the older episodes and I'm like, oh, it's episode 27 is actually episode two or whatever with season two. So but I'm going to do it anyways. So yeah, we are on vacation. I have been waiting all week to continue playing off camera. We gave Blossom and Peter a makeover and we also gave them some ski outfit and I did move Peter back out of the house. I made sure that his bladder was full where I did this. And so he's no longer in in our household, but he's still here with us, of course, on vacation. And he's got his cute new hair, which I think looks so good on him. And he's also got his little stubble, which looks good. He's got a few new outfits. We're not always looking at the same one. And he also has a ski outfit. And I think what we decided is we do feel that it Blossom is ready to make things official. She's really taken her time about this, thought about it. And, you know, she spent enough time, I think, missing Peter as well, where she would really feel like what is kind of the next logical step for these two. I think for both of them, it would make sense for them to move in together. Obviously, they live in different Different worlds. They live very far apart. They are only becoming boyfriend, girlfriend now. And for them, they've never actually, first of all, been in a partnership before, but they've also never lived near each other before. So I don't think they would want to, like, I think they do definitely want to go slow, move in together, kind of see how that goes. And um, they don't want to rush anything. So I am going to add them in a group and I think we're going to have them do a little bit of skiing today. And then I think maybe we'll try and do something a little bit more romantic in the evening. And that would be their opportunity to discuss, you know, their next steps, I think. So we did this for both of them. We gave them outfits that they would actually ski in. And I made sure that they have their helmets too. But I realized I didn't give them gloves, which is usually something I'm pretty serious about. Oh my gosh, she just took a jump. That was really good. I'm usually pretty serious about equipping my Sims with gloves and mitts and stuff in the cold because I hate being gloveless or mittless when it gets cold. Oh no, she wiped at the bottom. Where's Peter? Can we see how he's doing? I think we did want them to go together. That's not Peter, is it? See if we can find him. Oh, there he is. Coming back up with us? I think he is. <gasps> Look at how pretty it is up here. Oh my gosh, this is making me excited to go skiing, actually. Okay, winter is not so bad. <laughs> I love on a clear day like this when you can see all the way to the bottom of the mountain. So nice. Blossom's pretty brave. Like she's going on these jumps and stuff. And I don't think like she doesn't have very high skill or anything. Oh, she wants to kiss him. That's so cute. We're going to end the snowboarding. Maybe we can go here together and get like a hot drink or something. Something warm. Coffee. They have beef ramen, seaweed ramen, miso ramen, egg ramen. Why don't we get some ramen? That would probably be a nice way to warm up after skiing. I hope that Peter knows that he should get something to eat. Look, there he is. It's like he fell. Oh, she's feeling sad. What am I doing wrong from very poor snowboarding performance? What a bit from having an imperfect snowboarding run. She's, she's doing really well. I don't know why she's being so hard on herself. Okay, Peter, we're done with the snowboarding. I don't think he wants to stop. I think he's having too much fun. She did really well, though. She's she's being a little bit hard on herself, I think. You can get yourself something to eat, I hope. And I think what we're going to do for the evening, the best way to do your après ski is to go to the spa or a hot tub. If you don't have a spa available, if you can find a hot tub or something like that or a sauna, that's always the best way to relax after a day on the slope. So they're going to go to the onsen and they're going to go have a nice relaxing evening and they're going to chat a little bit and just talk about their future plans. What do we have? So there's vending machines, a lot of places to sit. There's a nice fireplace there. And then the onsen, of course, is over here. It looks like they're changing into their bathing suits. So they're both, I think, ready. Yeah, they're both going to shower and get right in. So I approve of that. They look so cute. <laughs> I didn't even have to tell them they were ready for this. They're like, yes, this is what we want. This is what we need. We need some time in the onsen to 
to rest our sore muscles. There they are. Why don't we light this fire over here? And I think that they've both sort of known this is coming. I don't know if they've, they've necessarily talked about it, but I do think that they both kind of know that they're getting to a point now where they want to, they know they want to be together. They know they want to take things more serious and they really want to give, give living together or living at least in the same area a try. So let's come sit together by the fire. We'll chat a little bit more. At this point, we would definitely be taking it to the next level. And I know that I'm the one that has been kind of making sure that we take things slow, but I really am ready for the next thing. So we're going to nervously ask him to be our boyfriend and we'll say, you know, I know that I'm not very romantic and I've shied away from you a lot, but I, I have been so excited to ask you this. And look, he's so excited too. He's like, yes, absolutely. Oh, so cute. We should do like a little kiss or something after that, no? Oh, he's asking us something. Is he asking to move in? <gasps> I've <laughs> I've been thinking about this a lot and wanted to ask if you'd like to live together. Oh my gosh, he just asked us to move in. <gasps> oh, he knew. He knew we were about to ask. We're going to say yes. I would love that. Click OK to go split from household and move to modify which Sims will live in which household. Oh my gosh, it was meant to be. I'm so excited. I can't believe this worked out. This is perfect. So we're going to bring Peter over. These are his parents, by the way. He does have parents. I think on our way back to moving Peter in, we're going to stop by his parents for a visit so she can meet them and, you know, for Peter to pack some stuff up. We are going to take some of their money. I was going to only take like $2,000, but I think I'm going to take $5,000. I feel like that's a lot of money, but they have a lot of money. And I feel like somehow he has money because he's been doing all of this traveling. I don't know if he's been working that much. So, but yeah, Peter is officially a part of our household. That's so exciting. Welcome, Peter. He's feeling pretty good about himself. He's like, I was so brave. I just right out asked her and she accepted after she asked me to be boyfriend, girlfriend. And he's like, I always thought I would have to be the one to ask. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, that's so perfect. I'm so excited. Let's come relax a little bit. He keeps reading his book. He's so cute. Vegetarian, loner, loves the outdoors, and collector because he has the same aspiration as Blossom. There we go. We can chat a little bit and just like talk about how excited we are and stuff. And then, yeah, I think we're going to do a little bit of woohoo. There we go. A little celebratory woohoo. She's like, whoa, it's so hot in here. There we go. Little sauna woohoo. Things getting steamy. I really like that they have these sort of like little outdoor spaces to sit with fireplaces. Look at the steams, the heart steams. Steam, steam heart. <laughs> I'm glad that there's like shade, shaders over these windows. So cute. What a romantic way to end a special night together. Oh, they're saying. Oh, she looks so happy. And he's feeling pretty good about that. <laughs> I think you really enjoyed that. Woohoo. All right, we're going to take them home. But as you know, with our Crybaby Whim series in every generation, there is a plot twist. <laughs> I don't know how many people know what's coming in generation two. So we're going to enjoy these moments while we have them. But um, we're going to have to see how the these two end up dealing with the wrench that life is about to throw at them. New partner from new relationship, a secret revealed, a deep connection, pleasantly satisfied from good woohooing, vacationing in another region again. He's excited to be vacationing in another region again. Oh, that went away. Pregnancy free woohooing um, because Blossom is on birth control and she's also feeling very excited from the sauna woohoo. She's feeling emotionally mindful. She is feeling a little less single. So that is a fine feeling. It's not necessarily a happy feeling, but she's not upset about it. So that's good. On um, birth control, pregnancy free woohoo. And then what else do we have? Pleasantly satisfied from good woohooing and happy from the great outdoors. Yeah. So she's feeling pretty good. She ticked off her God in a relationship. And Peter is ready also for bed. We're going to have Peter get himself ready so that we can kind of explore a little bit of the rest of the world. Why is why do I see two arrows like this? Usually you only get the two arrows down if someone is pregnant. But we can't be pregnant. We're on birth control, aren't we? I don't know. I'm a little 
nervous. Um, okay, let's not worry about it. Blossom's just going to go to the bathroom really quick. And then we're going to go hiking. So the place to hike is here. So let's go to the mountain shrine together. So that's like, I think, a touristy spot. It would make sense for them to go together. Because when they hike, they actually do they actually do walk together and they'll like chat and stuff and stop and take pictures. So it's very fun to watch as the player. Blossom's like so energized. She's bouncing so much on their walk. <laughs> and it looks like he's feeling confident. Look at this. It's so cute. I love this. I love this. Look, they're like looking around and stuff. They're looking at the scenery, which is obviously gorgeous. They're chatting, talking about school and food. Like maybe they're talking about what are they going to cook together when they live together. You know, he's like, you're going to have to start eating vegetarian. And she's like, don't worry. I can definitely make vegetarian food. I just was unprepared the other night. Oh, look, they're, they're consulting their little map. I think they write wishes on this. Yeah, let's write. Let's each write a wish. Put our wishes together. I'm going to have him eat his burger because he is hungry. I think Blossom, why don't you come and can you take a photo with this? Let's see. Let's go here. Let's take a photo of ourselves. Take a selfie. We have a nice camera. Oh, we do. Oh, maybe if I take it with this one. Oh, this is a cute selfie though. Maybe we can get a nice tree, tree behind her. There we go. We could just take a photo. Yeah, let's do that. We'll take a photo of the temple. There we go. We'll take a nice big photo like this. Wow, that's actually a really good photo. This better turn out. Once you get to your destination, you can just click on that and then you can hike back as well. These two loves to clouds gaze and star gaze together. It's so cute. Two little cuties. We could go for tea. Wait, let me just check how hungry we are. He's a bit hungry. So we're just going to go to the tea house for today. I'm making sure we explore like every location. Let's come over here and I would like us or you know what? They already seem to know what they want to order. So I'm just going to leave them to it. Where's our stuff? I swear we were here before all of these people. Well, you know what? If we don't end up staying, it's not the end of the world. Do I need to order again? I think that's what Peter's doing. He's going to try again. So is Blossom. Look, she looks upset. She's like, I just wanted a chocolatine. Can you please give it to me? Like, I've been on a long hike and I just need a little bit of pastry in my belly. I think, you know, I think we're not going to get our food and that's okay. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go. I don't know if there was anything that we could do like a hot pot at the lodge. Maybe we could do that tonight. Are any of these vegetarian safe? No, they all have meat or seafood. Well, I think seafood is a lot of vegetarians will eat seafood. Oh no, it doesn't actually say. Do I guess? I'm going to guess it's the most expensive one. Seafood's usually expensive. Hopefully I'm right. <laughs> I hope we don't make Peter sad. But you know, this is also a part of like, I think the trip too, because a hot pot, it would be like a meal that would be served here where we're visiting. So I think that even if he was vegetarian, he would make an exception because it's kind of like the food that you eat in this world. You know what I mean? All right, let's do it. Let's have our hot pot. The hot pot's pretty cute too. I was pretty obsessed with this when I first got this back as well. It's nice when you have a family because then they'll like ask how everyone's day was. Oh no, he's sad. Violating principles. <laughs> And he's feeling homesick now. Oh, ready for some action from Woohoo Drive. Peter is itching for some fun of the not safe for work variety. Can you feel the love? Nothing says, I think I like you. Oh no, I missed it. Oh, now he's just feeling sick. Let's get Peter to feel a little better. Come over here. Now, while Blossom is unflirty and she feels awkward initiating all of these flirts, Peter is not. Let's have him just evangelize for a second. Maybe this will help to take his guilt off. Then we can do a little bit of romance. Oh my gosh, we can propose. Maybe we can start by flirting a little bit. Tell her she looks really nice. Blow a kiss. They love blowing kisses at each other as we saw when they went camping. <laughs> this is like honestly their favorite activity. And then I guess we'll just woohoo in the bed, I think. Why is she thinking about a toilet? <laughs> is she not? What? I knew I saw the double down hunger, but how is she pregnant? Because she's literally on birth control. Did we run out of birth control pills or something? No, because last time they had woohoo, they literally had the thing that said like worry free woohoo. I don't see it in her. Oh, maybe we ran out of birth control. We're pregnant. <laughs> Oh no, I wasn't expecting that. How do we feel? A child on the way. Blossom wants children and is happy to know that. Oh, I didn't even realize she wants children. Is that true? 
would be happy to have a child. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's not a bad thing. This is a lot of changes all at once. We're going to have to tell Peter, though, I think. We should tell him before he falls asleep. I'm actually surprised that she wants to have a kid because, you know, she has a single and loving it lifestyle. She's outdoorsy. Oh my gosh, she's already showing. <laughs> she's like really showing. She's like, so what do you think about kids, by the way? He's like, you didn't want to talk about marriage and now you're asking me about kids he says i'd be all right with having a child i'd be all right with not having a child he's like oh cool <laughs> no sweat oh he's happy okay it says from pricing announcement peter's partner are going to have a child lots of responsibilities involved but they'll figure it out oh my gosh peter is so chill oh no he's cold well that's very supportive i guess Let's ask her how she feels because he he reassured her. He's like, you know, it's a lot of responsibility, but we're going to figure it out. I believe in us, which is so cute. She's like, thank goodness I have you. And then how's Blossom feeling? All is well from announcing pregnancy. Blossom's partner took the news of the pregnancy well. They're open to having children and are glad to share this experience with Blossom. What a relief. Oh, cute. Yeah, so they're going to do a little bit of woohoo then to celebrate everything, I guess. <laughs> and they're going to go to bed. Oh, so even though we're on vacation, I guess we're still working and Blossom just got her promotion. So she's gone to level five of the gardening career branch. And that actually means that we have to decide which branch she takes. There's two. There is botanist. As a botanist, do you have an interest in the science side of plants? Then use your knowledge to improve on nature. Botanists will analyze plants, write papers, and can eventually earn grants. You'll also be eaten by uh, work with a lot of cow plants. And then there's also floral designer. Floral designers will grow and use plants as their artistic medium. The main creative outlet will be using flower arrangement table to create masterpieces. But you'll start by trimming stems and leaves. So I really think with Blossom, we have been leaning towards towards the botanist branch, uh, sorry, the floral designer branch. Now I'm of course open to taking her down the botanist branch path if we want. I did buy our telescope for exactly that reason. But I think what we're thinking is because Peter shares her aspiration right now, I think for him, we could do the same career, but we might take him down the botanist path if that makes sense. So they could each do one path of this career because they both love gardening and they're gonna live in the countryside and they're gonna have a nice garden. And Blossom has always been very girly and love flowers. So I do feel like this branch makes sense for her. And then for Peter, I could see him being like a professor or a researcher and he likes to travel and stuff to do his research. So botanist would make sense for him, I think. If we're all okay with it, I'm going to go ahead and, and take the floral designer career path for Blossom. She's halfway up the career ladder now. Blossom has been promoted to pedal play, so she will now make an additional 10 simoleons for a grand total of 35 per hour. She's also received the following bonus, 550 and a bonsai tree. Her next shift is Thursday at 8 a.m. Nice, good job, Blossom. She doesn't work a lot in this career, to be honest. We're still gonna take one sort of day off because we're going to go meet Peter's parents, but this is our last day sort of in the snowy escape world before we kind of head back to, to real life. So let's get something to eat. What? Hike to cave statue, hike to historic tr shrine, meditative walk, hike to nature, natural cove didn't know there was all of this hiking here oh i didn't know this oh my gosh we're going hiking again today we're gonna explore every single one of these peter you need to get up okay okay i'm so excited there's new hikes there's new hikes oh my gosh um oh that's not that's not the hiking one it's this here let's hike to the historic shrine together oh my gosh i'm so excited to see i didn't know there was hiking here i did not know this is like i've learned this today so i've never seen these worlds i'm gonna freak out even more than i did on the last hike i'm glad he's waiting for us we're a little slower today given the news is this it is this the new shrine oh peter's checking to make sure he's like uh are these the right stairs that we take or do we go that way can we do anything when we get there yeah they're they're gonna take a picture of it <laughs> he took a selfie okay i'm gonna take a photo with our nice camera so we can actually keep it there we go. Cute. Maybe we should take a photo together as well. They're like, oh, what a beautiful day for a hike. So crisp out. I want to go to the cave statue. I always like seeing the historical stuff. Whoa. <gasps> we can make a fortune of good. <gasps> Peter has found a forest spirit on his journey. He can collect or make a wish in the forest spirit. May the odds be ever in his favor. Where are they, Peter? I don't see them. Arr, I Did I miss the chance to make a wish? 
I'm sad. I don't think we can see it. But we can definitely make an offering of good fortune. Let's leave the Snapdragon, which is probably a flower that Blossom gave us. And she'll make an offering a tiger frog. There we go. We've made our offerings. And then um, we definitely need to take a photo of this. I think if we take a selfie, we might be able to get those in the background. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go eat out at the restaurant. And then that's probably where we will end the day. We're just going to travel and then we're going to enjoy some nice food and uh, head back to our lodging for the evening. So we're going to let Blossom go to the bathroom and Peter's going to grab us a table. It would be kind of nice to sit outside, I think but it might be a little bit chilly. All right, let's order. We're both pretty hungry. Oh, Blossom probably shouldn't have a glass of wine, should she? Maybe she'll have some lemonade. And Peter would probably love a glass of wine too, but I think he'll he'll not drink just in solidarity with Blossom. What should we have? Peter will have edamame because it's vegetarian, of course. We'll have the chef's choice. Oh, I was like, oh, that looks good, but it's puffer fish. Puffer fish can kill your sim. We don't want to do that. Peter's actually even hungrier than she is, but I think he's just more patient in general. What are these two doing? Usually they can't stop flirting, but I think they're too hungry right now. They're admiring this painting. That's the temple they went to see, actually. So cool that they have a photo of it so they're chatting a little bit I wonder what they're talking about this has like been such a big trip for them they're moving in together Peter's obviously going to move worlds and now they're also pregnant I also don't know where we're gonna put a baby in in our little cottage and um yeah that's gonna be it we're gonna be parents soon they're still very young yeah they're they're still very very young all right um let's go ahead and order our mains I think Peter will just get sparkling water again. Maybe we'll try the iced tea this time. And let's see for the mains. Ooh, they have a avocado maki roll. He will get that. And then what would she do? We've had a lot of ramen while we've been here. So I feel like we should try. Ooh, let's try this tiger shrimp and smoked dew drop broth. That sounds really good. There we go. Yeah, we're definitely going to go all out. We're getting as many courses as we can possibly stomach. <laughs> you have to try all the food when you're on vacation. Now that she's full, she's able to flirt again with Peter. Oh, that looks so good. It looks so steamy and tasty. They're both normal quality, but they do look very tasty. Oh my gosh. <gasps> is that what the dewdrop is? Whatever these like little pearls are. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Blossom's like full. She doesn't want to eat, but we should eat it. That's the whole point of being on vacation, being in a new country. Like you have to try all the food. It doesn't matter if you're full. You got to keep going. She seems to like it. She's really thinking about the flavors. And Peter's just over here. He's happy to be here as always. Before I figure out our drinks, we got to figure out the desserts first. Ooh, there's a lemon bar. Peach yogurt? Actually, that's dairy, isn't it? I think I'll have her have that. I think he'll try the lemon bar. And then I don't think they have like coffee or tea, do they? No. So maybe we'll just both get water for dessert. All three courses done. Well, not quite done yet. Almost done and dusted. And I feel like this luxurious meal was probably the best way to end off this vacation. There we go. Look, he's so excited. Oh, I no, actually, I think he blew a kiss to Blossom. She didn't notice because she was busy ordering the dessert. What is this trailing laughter from feeling close with someone nearby? Blossom remembers some funny moments together out on the hiking trail with joyful conversation and unexpected surprises. Oh, that's so cute. She's reminiscing about their hike and she has some funny memories from it. Pay our bill. It actually, the bill was not too much, which is kind of nice. I do believe that we could swim a little bit if we wanted to. Let's go wade in the water together. I know it's like 2 a.m., but it's our last night of vacation. Look at how pretty it is. Oh, they always find the most beautiful spots. I mean, because they go on vacation all the time. That's why. But they really do. Like, this is so nice. Maybe we can do, can we do like a nice kiss in the water? Like one of our special kisses. Belly hug. <gasps> That's from the Panda Sama mod. Stop it. I need to take a photo of this so that they can like have it on their wall. It's too much. I love it too much. I'm like so into this right now. Didn't expect to be excited for these two to be pregnant, but I am actually in the end. I'm happy for them. Panda Sama is a gift from the gods. All the stuff that comes with this mod is incredible. And they're always adding more. Look, he's rubbing the belly. It's so cute. Oh, she looks so happy. Oh my gosh, they look so happy. It's making me happy. They're, I know they're just Sims, but this is making me very happy. Like, I feel like this is like my friend and her boyfriend or something. I feel so happy for them. Is there more that we can do?
oh, what's this? Golden ticket from kissing. That kiss was so unexpected and exhilarating. Peter just feels like he won the lottery. All right. Well, I think that's good. I think we can go home on that note. Oh, look at this. A glowing excitement from Belly Hug as Peter wraps his arm around his partner's waist and feels their rounded belly. He can't help but think about the incredible changes that their body has undergone since the beginning of the pregnancy to accommodate their growing child. The intricate and complex process of creating a new human being is nothing short of miraculous and Peter feels humbled and grateful to be a part of it. <gasps> Oh my gosh, she just pulled her phone out of the water. Choosing a name from Belly Hug, Blossom leans back against her partner's chest as they talk. Their conversation turned to the topic of names for their baby. They consider names from literature, from their own family history, and from the natural world around them. Blossom considers each name carefully, picturing their child with that name, and imagine what it'd be like to call out their baby, to watch them grow, and learn to explore the world. Oh, it's so cute. I hate it and love it. Why do I love this game so much? We're gonna head back to the lodging. I'm gonna put these two to bed, and then we will be ending the part there even though I want to continue I do I really want to like go for the ultrasound and everything now like I could play all night but that's okay we will do it next time so yeah this is where we're going to be ending today's part with these two just being so adorable and napping together with their baby on the way thank you so much everyone for hanging out for this episode I clearly had a lot of fun and I definitely don't want to stop playing but we have to stop for tonight next time we will be heading off to meet Peter's parents and it will be a good opportunity to also tell them about the pregnancy. It will be our stop on the way home from our vacation. We'll also be going for an ultrasound because I think we're supposed to go in the second trimester. So we'll be able to learn the gender of the baby. And um, we'll also be able to kind of set Peter up now that he's officially moved in with us. So yeah, I'm very excited to see what happens next. But we'll leave it here for now. If you're on YouTube, please like the video if you're enjoying the series. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And I will see you next time. Burning.